Um, before we start, I'm going to ask you, and this is probably a lot different than some of you are doing in your classrooms, and we hope it changes, to actually take your cell phone and get it off. But I want to talk a little bit around this whole idea of social media and how media has changed. So where do you share your ideas? Pick five, post your comments online. Some of you have told me that's what you do. So if you're actually on Twitter and you know what a hashtag is and you use it, this is where, um, this is the hashtag we're going to use. So DigitusFits11. What did you think? How do you feel about if you have something you've posted online and that it's yours? How do you feel about sharing it for the good of the creative community? Because the internet should be a free source. Was it like educational? I mean, what'd you what'd you get out of it? Definitely, I learned a lot. We are at the cusp of a whole new way of doing citizenship. And so there's this idea between anonymity and accountability. But I also learned that there are a whole bunch of positive sides to the internet. There are other ways to share music that, well, that was very educational. You guys are young, you got passion, you're energetic. I don't need to give you a quote. I just need to give you a space to work. I need to give you a space to do something. So that's what we want to do. So remember, what will you do? What's the impact you're going to make? How are you going to lead? Fill that space up. Uh, as Brendan said, my name is George. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to um, today, and we're really excited to work with you guys. Uh, we talk a lot with educators to try to help pot to impact you guys in a really positive way. So it's actually really great to share some of the things that we're doing with you guys, so you see what we're talking about. I thought it was actually really good because a lot of presentations I'll sort of get bored and sort of you know float off. But I was listening the whole time. Yeah. Like they had a way of, you know, keeping it interesting, and I actually did learn a lot. And it's interesting. So yeah. Yeah. It was like it was a lot of different stuff too. It was about like what we actually use, I think. So yeah. it's, it's kind of. And like, yeah. well, we relate to it, right? Because we're always on Facebook and YouTube and whatnot. So I guess we had a lot to learn, and it did inspire me to get more active. Like you know how uh, parents are always like, oh, they're on Facebook too much. Yeah. Oh, they're on YouTube. Yeah. Blah blah blah. But these guys are actually right. You should get active, and if you're mature about it, and if you're responsible, it's really cool. Now, as Brenda said, Alec and I are brothers, and we have, um, he's, he's uh, quite a bit older than me, so <laughs> we, we actually... <laughs> it's going to be like an hour of this, you know that, right? Yeah. <laughs> so it's really interesting because we actually, I live in Edmonton, and Alex in Regina, and we use this technology to connect with a bunch of educators, but we connect with each other quite a bit. So we can follow each other. So you're going to see that there's this real professional uh, way that we use Twitter, but there's also this way where we kind of maybe bug each other and, you know, actually just like any other sibling, we we fight all the time on Twitter. But in a, we know what we're, we're not doing it in a, a nasty way, so we're not swearing at each other. But if you look in the past, the way in which we mediated our, our, our experiences and our identity, I mean, when we talk about mediated, it basically means how we use media like videos and, and pictures to actually represent ourselves. And that's going to be really an important part of this talk today. So this is the age that we're sort of in today. And here's a short video. Now network. Population 49 million. Right now, 23 million cell phone calls are being made. 380,000 people just hung up. 1 million emails are en route. 7% of them contain the words Miracle Banana Diet. They're hitting 63,000 spam filters now. Twice as many people are searching the word dog on Google versus cat. Jaime the Talking Boxer is being uploaded to YouTube from someone's phone now. 2 million people are sending a text message during a business meeting. Most popular subject, diapers. 233,000 people just Twittered on Twitter. 26% of you viewing this have no idea what that means. 6,000 people are researching restaurants in a cab. 29 of them just left their phone in that same cab. 30,000 people just landed and are switching on their phones. This is what's happening now. America's most dependable 3G network. Bringing you the first wireless 4G network. Sprint, the now network. So instead of actually, you know, hiding, you know, we're trying to get a lot of adults to understand this, that having an identity that de is defined by yourself is really important. So I actually took my own space and um, 
I shared and said, here's where I am. Here are all of the places I am. And so one of the, the blocks of getting this is we're really, really concerned about digital safety. Um, you, you actually have some sessions on digital safety today. And this is sort of some of the fear that we have around digital safety. And when you look at the stats, it's not nearly as bad. Um, we're finding that teens are actually more savvy than we've ever seen before. That a lot of you make really, really good decisions. Some of you make bad decisions, and certainly that's a concern. But we do see videos like this. So this is an example of some of the videos you'll see from the, the safe cyber uh, networks and that sort of thing. So here's a video. So cute. But do it like I taught you. Love the new tattoo, Sarah. Dude, that's Sarah. Sarah. The girl in the pink shirt, that's the girl I was telling you about. Theater two on your left. Hey, Sarah, what color underwear today? Hey, Sarah, so when are you going to post something new? Anything you post online, anyone can see. So think before you post. So, so in terms of that particular video, I think it's way overboard in terms of actually, there, there's a one really key, key message. Think before you post, which I think is a great message for me. It's for George, for absolutely anyone in this room. But the way they actually say that, they, they instill a kind of a sense of fear in you. And that was the whole point. But it, it's the fear thing didn't work for drunk driving. It didn't work for seat belts. It didn't work for just about you know drugs, just about anything. Fear just does not work statistically in that sense. Education is the only thing that really works. It was about three months ago that I first realized I had become unintentionally viral. We made it five years ago. We thought it was hilarious. I, I mean, I, I still think it's kind of funny. Do it! Do it! Do it! <laughs> oh we uploaded it so we could all watch it, send it to a few of our friends, have a laugh, and we forgot about it. But then a few months ago, someone sent me a link. The video is titled Flame Fart Kid Original. 1.3 million views. People started recognizing me on the street. Well, your resume looks good to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. My girlfriend broke up with me. I just don't think it's gonna work out. But why? It's not you, it's... Flame Fart Kid! It was everywhere. Also in recent news, that kid changes his name to Not Flame Fart Kid. I was just minding my own business, studying anthropology, and hanging out with my girlfriend. And overnight, I became Flame Fart Kid. Hey, it's Flame Fart Kid! My name is Alex! It's Alex. And so we actually are here today because we want to really talk about the idea that you can actually use, like, watching that video, a lot of people will say, you know what, here's what can happen, stay off. And we're saying, no, 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 that's what can happen, but there's a better way to do these things. Okay, my name is Richard Pham. All right. Uh, what would you think of it? I thought it was a pretty impressive show. I learned a whole bunch about um, when you're signing up with things and you're always giving information out. Yeah. There's a lot more that you ha have unaccounted for because you keep going to new sites and there's always a new thing and you forget about what you have in the past. Yeah. And those people still have your information. Well, that's the thing. Like, if you made an account in grade one for Neopets, like they showed, right? Like, <laughs> it's still on. It's still on Neopets, right? Like all your information. Yeah, I probably have like a Neopet account or three from way back when I was in elementary or so. Yeah, right? So, yeah. so, so in all, like that's, that's basically what you learned. Just about, you know, just be careful with forms, being, you know. But being careful with forms and whatnot, but I also learned that there are a whole bunch of positive sides to the internet and things like uh, Creative Commons where you can totally share things that you want to share and have a special kind of copyright where you can sh uh, have other people share your things and contribute to what you've done is also pretty amazing. The one step that I want you to really think about is as leaders, as leaders, what are you doing? Because a leader doesn't just sit there and let that. Because when I said to you first thing in the morning when I talked to you and I said, hey, get out your cell phones, we want you to use them. You're supposed to be this voice that you connect with people in your school to say, you know what, I want to move forward with this. Like we want you to actually, if your teacher is not using this, we want you to go back to your school and say, you know what, we saw these two guys and the first thing they said was do the, talk on the phone. Why can't we do this way of learning? Why can't we be engaged in this way?
ebook.